Shake for a shake, I'm throwing these emirates in the sky. Spinning this awesome llama, make them piece to M O N E Y. I love my beaches, south beaches, surf, board and high tide. I can just roll up. Cause Welcome I'm to TLC, ladies and gentlemen. Everything. This is the Captain Ron Johnson. This is another week in the books. And I haven't really had much to be I can say to pump up about, except for the very fact that we are less than a week away. Literally, actually, we are a week away. From the opening kickoff to the new season for the Colorado Ice Indoor football team, March 1st, the Wichita Falls Nighthawks are about to get a crash course in indoor football. It should be a lot of fun. If you have not gotten tickets, they are available at ComcastTix.com or by just going down to the Colorado Ice office off of Smoky Street in Fort Collins and getting your tickets for this game. It's going to be basically huge. We've been giving away a lot of stuff, some prizes, some jerseys, jerseys, and, of course, the big – of course, the big show, show at halftime, time the cha-cha slide, and of course, the meet and greet with the players after the game is over. Can't really get that out of the NFL, right? Exactly. Now, that is next week. We're talking about today. Six hours and counting. Actually, five hours, 57 minutes, and about 40, 43 seconds away from the, from the inaugural opening pay-per-view for WWE's Fast lane. The the pay per view has taken over for taken over where the elimination cham- chamber left off. Off now officially comes comes to the W Network, which is still in its free month of February. So if you have not gotten it yet, my suggestion take advantage of that free month because you never know if you might want this after it goes back to nine ninety nine. So tonight's fast lane. What do we have? Um, we got. Nikki Bell versus Paige. On paper, it looks like a good, like a good showdown. A little bit of the old school and the new school, in the matter of speaking. We got the young upstart Paige, who Paige who pretty much is almost a pretty much a year removed from when she actually won the Diva Championship, her first one no less, from the departed AJ Lee. And of course, you got Nikki Bell, who was the last last Diva to defeat AJ Lee in a champion championship match. And of course, everybody. Everybody misses AJ Lee. And AJ, if you're out there listening, I know you are. Um, don't feel bad for those kids there at WWE. They clearly wanted to move in a different direction. And as much as they want to basically endorse the Bella brand, they have to realize that sooner or later it's time for the sisters time time for Nikki to actually channel her 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 inner inner twin sister and just bust out into Primo. But it's probably not going to happen tonight, and that's all good. But what we will tell you flat out is that it's going to be a great it's, it's it's going to be a great show nonetheless because you do have a main event that does not involve involve a world heavyweight championship defense, but does involve the world heavyweight champion champion as Daniel Bryan will take on Roman Reigns with the winner facing Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Here's to hoping that maybe WWE will pull it out of its ass and give us all what we want, which is a triple threat showdown. Old school, new, current school, and new school. Lesnar, Bryan, and of course, Reigns. As much as everybody wants to say that Roman Reigns is not ready, it's just not his time, he should just step away, he should just be seasoned more. The problem is, is that you guys were bitching last year when Roman Reigns came in, came in as a runner-up. And now you're bitching because he actually won the damn thing because you guys demanded it for the past 12 months. But that's okay because you guys are a little crazy anyhow. You have to be crazy because you're watching me for a change. Now, since how we're all talking about Fastlane, we do have a big, huge, we have a couple of huge championship matches coming up in Fastlane as well, not just that. We also have Goldust versus Stardust in a match. Where anything can happen, and this is where anything can happen in the WWE, even now to this very day, you got Goldust and Stardust, the brothers colliding once again. Wonder if Dust, what role Dusty Rhodes is gonna, going to actually play play this one when his two son, sons but but heads coming up coming up in just a, just a few hours, and of course we have the Intercontinental Championship match between the between the current champ Bob News Barrett 
and the lunatic fringe, Dean Ambrose. But that's not where it stops. The Usos will defend the tag team titles against Tyson Kidd and Antonio Cesaro, who have been making a lot of noise on the, in, on the tag tag team circuit. It's good to see that. See that basically you may have a little bit of everything, a little tag team action, a little high flying action, some test of strength, and even a cat fight fight between Naomi and Natalia should make things very interesting going down the stretch. Now, if you're planning on watching Total Divas tonight, just DVR it and then just get on the WWE Network and watch that and, to, and watch watch this pay per view because this is going to determine how many people are actually going to be all for going to WrestleMania, ordering WrestleMania. Mania, signing up for the WWE Network, Network, which for the record is still free at least for the next seven days. So take full advantage of that while you got it. But the other thing that's throwing people off, and this is probably the thing that's probably going to get get more heads turning. The thing that's going to throw, every, throw everybody off, you have for the United States Championship, the undefeated, unstoppable Rusev. Or, as many people like to call him, the Moscowian Bulldoza. Ha! <laughs> Thank you, Armando. And he will be defending his title tonight against none other than John Cena. And, of course, the rumor mill has been running rampant that The Undertaker, both The Undertaker and Sheamus, are slated to make some kind of appearance tonight on the road to WrestleMania. To be smart, they will let this happen. They will even bring back another familiar figure that people have been clamoring for for the past for, for the past month and a half or past two months, depending on who you talk to. The Viper, Randy Orton, slated to appear, may not, maybe, we don't know. All we know is that there are three superstars, three legends, three Hall of Famers in their own rights who could possibly be returning to Fast Lane to the WWE via Fast Lane tonight. So that's that's not enough reason for you. Then how about this? WCW and WWE are about to collide once again as Triple H has a face-to-face confrontation with the icon, the icon, the legend, legend, the vigilante, the man they call Sting. Tonight. I'd watch that one and just be just as good and content with anything else happening. But that's neither here nor there. This is this is the big one, folks. Spring is right around the corner, and despite the fact that it is snowing outside, side side right now here in Colorado, it's still going to be a lot of fun for everyone. So try to enjoy yourselves because we're just getting warmed up, and it's bound to be a lot more madness and a lot more anarchy heading into that final stretch of that road to WrestleMania. What role will Brock play in tonight's outcome? Now come, how will Paul Heyman try to sell sell this huge battle? How in the hell? Will anybody be able to understand understand why Roman Reigns is why Roman Reigns' time is now and why Roman Reigns has probably got the best chance of defeating Brock Lesnar than Daniel Bryan? Now everybody wants Daniel Bryan to be in the main event at WrestleMania. The house is split down the middle. Roman Reigns on one side, Daniel Bryan on the other side. Either way, they want one of those guys hosting up the WWE World Heavyweight Championship by the end of WrestleMania, which means everybody is going against. That's right. The beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. But when it comes down, it comes down to it in Memphis tonight, live on the WWE Network for only for only zero dollars and zero cents, you will see before you madness in its entirety. Bottom line, if you have not found a reason to jump up on the WWE Network, this might be the time to do it because this may not ever happen again. It may not happen for a while, but either way. It should be a lot of fun for everyone. So let's get down to the nitty gritty of it, people. Here we are, Fast Lane, just a few hours, a few hours away. Probably the hot spot, hot spot right now in the world of sports. And we may not even know what's going to happen next. We know that Bray Wyatt has been trying to call on somebody, calling them out, challenging them, begging them to show up and find him. Will we find out that answer tonight? Will Stardust? Finally put his demons to rest in regards to the Rhodes family. Family, will we be seeing any new champions tonight? And what the hell is Seth Rollins going to do now that he's not even on the card? But that can change as well. Because we could see a six-man tag between Big Show, Kane, and Seth Rollins against Eric Rowan, Ryback, and Dolph Ziggler. 
People may not like it, but it gets Dolph Ziggler on the show, which is what people want anyway. We'll find out tonight. I'm gonna get my I'm, I'm gonna, get, gonna get my shit together, get everything set and ready here, and then I'm gonna get re- get ready for fast lane. So, folks, this has been the captain. This has been TLC. We will be coming to you live from the Ice House next Sunday for probably what will be one of the funnest times in the history of mankind as the car eyes take the field to start the 2015 campaign. We'll see you guys.